Hi, I am Satyavrat Bondre, the CTO at Quant Legal Tech. Today, we'll be diving into a 5-minute application. You will be creating your diary using Node.js Express. This is a combination of Node.js and MySQL, which will be our database. To begin with, you should install Node.js. I would highly recommend that you use Mac OS or a Linux distribution like Ubuntu rather than Windows. It'll just be easier to set up and run. If you are on a Windows system, you can very quickly add a Linux dual boot and then delete the boot after you are done. You can just run the command to install Node.js. Till then, you can run the sudo apt get install node.js. Once you run the command, install npm. npm is a package manager for node.js. Before we get into further details, let's see what is node.js. Node.js is nothing but an open source JavaScript framework. Earlier, only browsers could execute JavaScript code. Node.js provides the ability to run JS code outside of the browser and on a server. That makes it incredibly powerful because you can use it as a system for serving front-end content and also as a back-end system. Let's now set up your project. Run the mkdir and cd commands as shown here. Now you can set up the node project itself using npm. When you use the command run npm init minus y, it just creates the project folder for you. As you can see here, it sets up your package.json file and adds some of the node modules. Next, we install the dependencies with this command. Now you have successfully set up your project. As I have explained, the npm init command is used to set up the project structure, including the package json. And the install commands can be used to set up all the required dependencies. Next, let's set up MySQL. It is very easy to download MySQL. Just select your OS and you are set. Please also install MySQL Workbench. It will make it easier for you to use MySQL. Remember that when you install MySQL, it comes with a default username, root and password. However, you can reset the password to whatever you want for the root username. Please note that you should not share it with anybody because that's the super user's password for MySQL. Once you log in, you will get a script called Setup Diary DB.SQL as part of this application folder. If you take a look at the file, you find that you're just kind of creating a database, adding a table, and inserting some entries that you can query later. Run it and you'll see that it has set up the data for you. Before we go ahead, you need to understand what MySQL is. MySQL is an open source database that you can use to manage and maintain all your data. We want to use MySQL to store our diary entries. The last step to set up your project requires you to copy the source code from the views folder, the roots folder and also copy over index.js. Then run node index.js and you can visit localhost colon 9001 and see your diary application here. Congrats, you have set up your first application. Want more information? Visit us at www.herowired.com. Get ready to get wired.